Welcome to the Talk podcast with ideas strategist Linda Reed Enova. Talk is where we chat about ideas and inspiration you can use to market your business. Get ready for practical tips you can implement today with your host, Linda Reed Enova. Hi everyone, Linda Reed Enova, and welcome back to the Talk podcast. In this episode of Talk, we're going to explore the best practices for running a free webinar, why you would look at running a free webinar, and the benefits associated to your business when using a free webinar or a free training session as part of your marketing strategies. Now, webinars have been around for a long time. Lots of business owners have been using them, and it's a great way to showcase your expertise, to give those people a little bit of a taste about what it's like to work with you. So that's what we're going to delve into today. We're going to look at the benefits of running a webinar. So what is a free webinar? A free webinar is an exchange of information where people give you an email address and they register to attend that webinar. Now that webinar can be run live and I love live webinars because it gives me a really good chance to get to know who I'm talking to and who I'm working with or it can be run evergreen and they're good tools for using both. Personally, I'm a big fan of Restream for running my live sessions, especially if I'm making them free and then running them out to Facebook as well as my YouTube channel and having an event page that allows us to be able to get people to opt in to make sure that we're getting the most spread of that free webinar that we're about to run. But there are handy little tools like eWebinar and Webinar Kit that allow you to be able to run and Webinar Ninja even that allow you to be able to run pre-recorded webinars and have an evergreen webinar within your marketing cycle. And if you're pushed for time, evergreen webinars are a really good way of doing things. So what's the purpose of a free webinar? The purpose of a free webinar is to provide valuable information to recipients so that they will then take the next step in your lead journey. So the purpose is it's a lead magnet. It's allowing people to be able to connect with you, get a taste of who you are and what you do, and then you being able to encourage them to take the next step, whether that is to opt in for something else, whether it's to take a download or whether it's to enroll in a course or maybe come to a paid version or book in some consulting along the way. So that's the purpose of a free webinar. And it's all about gathering those leads. Now, remember, not all of our leads are going to be ready to buy at the time we run our webinar. So they might be there gathering the information. They might even attend two or three webinars throughout their life cycle before they're ready to go through. But what the value of this is, is your opportunity to be able to grab their email address and make sure that you are nurturing them along the way. So after the webinar, they get a good series of emails from you that encourages them to either take that next step or stay on your newsletter to continue to get valuable tips until they are ready to purchase. So what are the benefits for you running a free webinar? The benefits are increased exposure. A free webinar allows you to be able to get into a wide audience, especially those who are maybe at the interest or the seed component of your marketing tree. It allows for higher engagement because the participants there have actually put aside that time to attend your webinar or your training. So you quite often get a high level of engagement. It also gives you a really good opportunity to get a higher rate of conversion because the webinar is allowing them to get a taste, it's allowing them to get a win, but you're able to also tailor it, especially if they're live webinars, you can tailor it to the people who are there, you can answer questions, you can get through the barriers that people might have in taking the next step in your journey within those areas from there. And it's about building your profile. It's about building your exposure. You know, people talk about webinars after they've attended them. They say, oh, you know, I attended such and such as webinar and it gave me some really, really good tips. Webinars tend to have an increased ROI on investment. It doesn't cost you a lot to be able to run a webinar, but what it does do is it allows you to be able to, you know, get your message out to a wider group of people. It allows you to be able to hopefully increase your marketing effort around that activity to be able to then get a better level of conversion once you've got the people in the webinar. Webinar attendees are interested attendees. They are hot attendees because they have taken the time to attend your webinar. And that is the difference to anyone who watches a YouTube video or a little live or reads a blog post. These people have actually said, yep, I'm going to carve out this half an hour or an hour in their time to be able to come with you. So the level of interest is higher than those who might have just found you on the internet. Running a fee webinar is a great way to get your message out to a wide audience. Make sure that you are marketing your webinar. You're giving yourself enough time to be able to market it. We like to have a four-week window here to make sure that we've actually got enough time to market our webinar. Make sure that you create a good event. Now, we love Eventbrite for creating events, but make sure that you've got that on Facebook, you've got it on LinkedIn, you've got all the events out there. Make sure that you've run through your slide deck and you've prepared yourself throughout that process. Don't assume that your webinar attendees know you, introduce yourself, introduce what you do and make sure that they're feeling encouraged along the way to ask any questions that they might have. And then make sure that your webinar has a strong follow-up sequence. These are all the secrets for webinar success that we run here at Anova Group. And I am absolutely excited to hear and see that you are listening to this podcast, that you are looking at running a webinar. 
So right now, before we finish up this session, what are some things and ideas that you can run webinars on? I want you to go to your blog posts and I want you to see what the top performing blogs are. Let's see if we can expand that into a webinar. What about your YouTube channel? If you're sharing videos or your Facebook channel or TikTok or any of those things where you've got top performing videos, let's see if we can expand that into a webinar because the audience is already showing interest. And then make sure that your webinar at the very, very end has a great call to action and you make it clear what the next step is for the attendee to do. Good luck in running webinars. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them for me. Otherwise, I will see you next time in we come back with a new episode of Talk. Make sure that you are subscribed to get all the updates when a new episode of Talk goes live. Thank you for listening to another episode of Talk with Linda Reed enever Make sure you subscribe via your favourite podcast app so you don't miss the next great episode. You can find more ideas and inspiration at lindareedeneva.com.au.